Well, hello. It's Monday, July the 20th, and uh, we've been, I think, back in in-person worship uh, for four weeks now, and uh, want to encourage you to keep praying for us as we uh, navigate our way through this um, difficult time. Uh, we're also talking about uh, other events, um, Sunday school classes, uh, which uh, you can imagine the complications are uh, many and uh, do uh, pray for us and uh, that we might have some uh, wisdom uh, and, and courage uh, as we uh, navigate our way through this summer and, uh, and into the fall. Uh, so we're looking at some psalms together and we come today to psalm number 30 and uh, this is a psalm uh, with a title, a very specific title. Uh, it's one of David's psalms and it's a psalm written at the time of the dedication of uh, the temple. And uh, it says, um, I will extol you, O Lord, for you have drawn me up and have not let my foes rejoice over me. And the verb there to draw up is the verb that would be employed for um, pulling a, a bucket uh, up from a well. And uh, in the second verse, O Lord my God, I cried to you for help and you have healed me. And uh, the verb suggests that uh, David uh, might have had some kind of uh, sickness, perhaps uh, almost a fatal sickness, and that the Lord has healed him. So this is a psalm uh, suitable for those uh, who are suffering sickness right now and uh, are fearful, and uh, this is a, a, a psalm uh, that um, is, is wonderful uh, for those, especially those of you who are experiencing um, cancer or some life-threatening illness right now. This, is, this would be a very appropriate psalm. Now it contains, in the middle of the psalm, it contains some verses that are often uh, cited. Uh, verse 5, weeping may tarry for the night, but joy comes with the morning. It's as though the psalm is contemplating a, a sad uh, night visitor uh, that brings you low. And many of us can relate to that when we're experiencing trials and, and tribulations. The stresses often appear to be more um, greater uh, during the small hours of the morning and sleeplessness and, 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 and so on. But here's uh, the word weeping may um, tarry for the night, but joy comes in the morning. Uh, Paul uh, may well have been thinking of that when he says in 2 Corinthians 4, um, this momentary light affliction yields uh, an eternal weight of glory that far exceeds them all. Uh, so here uh, we may experience trials and tribulations, but uh, joy comes uh, in the morning. It's a psalm that ends with, uh, and I think of those words of the hymn, Count Your Blessings, name them one by one, and it will surprise you what the Lord has done. And that is the theme of the close of Psalm 30. Well, the Lord bless you today. We hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, and you wanna make sure you get all of our content, not just videos, but podcasts and ministry updates, make sure you download our app. If you think you might have missed a video, click on our YouTube channel. A link should be down below. There you can see all of our videos. And if you want to make sure you don't miss anything in the future, hit subscribe. If you want to be one of the first ones to know when we release a video, hit that little bell icon. And if this video has blessed you and you can think of someone else that it might help, use that share icon and send it to them. All, of course, for the edification of God's people and the glory of his name. Until next time, God bless.